Snowy, um, let's talk about uh, another band that you were involved with. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so in around around 2010, this was very uh, interesting to me. Around 2010, you recorded, uh, I, I hope I pronounce this correct, Abra Hadabra, correct? Yeah. With Demi Borger, yeah. correct? Big band, black metal band. Everybody knows this band. Abra Hadabra. Abra Hadabra. <laughs> So Abra, I guess, was a girl somewhere. She had one bra only. <laughs> oh, no, that's the no, no. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Abra Hadabra. <laughs> Abra Hadabra with Dibu Borger, of course. Uh, you uh, you played uh, the bass and uh, sang clean vocals on this album. Uh, there's yeah. a strange uh, there's a strange news piece that I found on blabbermouth.com, and I went had to go back on the archives to found it once again because I wanted to make sure it existed because I remember reading about this. Uh, it came out on August 27th. And it states that you joined Dimu for one yeah. day, but then a day later on the 28th, there's another news piece that comes out from uh, from Christopher jo uh, Johansson saying that you had rejoined Therion, therefore leaving Dimu Borger. Can yeah. you talk to us about this situation? What what the hell happened, Snowy? What was that? Uh, I gotta say that the best the best um, take on that is to, to read it in my book here. Read all about it in the book I have, Mel, because then I explain it all. But I can just briefly tell a little bit about it. Without uh, giving away too much, because we do want people to read your book, please. Yeah, yeah but I yeah. got to say, there was a lot of lot of drama that going on there, shitstorm, this and that, because mm. I, I intended to, to be with both bands. Uh, I kind of joined them, and they were very secretive about, okay, you cannot reveal anything like that, being in... You got to, Dima Borg, you got to, got to be the first priority. I'm fine with that, but you got to tell me when I can work and when I can, when I'm off so I can, you know, match it up with other bands. I, I mean, Christopher's been, you know, a really honest, nice guy and all that. I don't want to put him in a fucking weird position when right. I'm not the example. So I was intended to do, we had just recorded Citra Ara. Ara, however, however, however you pronounce that, and uh, Abra had a bra <laughs> 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 in her album, so I recorded that with Dimi Borgi, and I and uh, I figured that down the road, eventually, there's going to be some a bit of conflict or, or um, you know, try to to run two two big bands like that or be involved in that that. Right. Uh, but it, that came a lot sooner than I really expected because both bands are on nuclear blast records and mm -hmm. had a brand new album out uh, and it's going to be follow up be, with a uh, european tour or a world tour after that but both albums was released the fucking same month or even week and 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 it's going to be on i couldn't possibly be on two places at the, at the same time so i had to make a choice should i stay with Dimmy borger or should i quit with the theory or should i you know what should i do there and that sort of created a lot of uh, uh, rough patches or something. I, I didn't get along with their manager. I mean, that was the biggest problem. I mean, Dimmer guys, I mean, they are very, very nice guys and all that. But they, mm -hmm. they were in part, I suppose, uh, uh, you know, guilty as charged. Because, I mean, they didn't stand up for, for against their manager. She, she right. was the one running the business and all that. So I, I, it was the worst. Uh, probably the worst uh, time in my life, I gotta say, because I mean, I, I was like, this was like bullying and 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 all kind of stuff, and and I never really experienced that before. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you have to read about it. <laughs> you know, well, you have you have to read the book of of of, of heavy metal uh, because I I want to learn about th this story. I mean, it sounds like difficult times, Noah. You were placed in a very difficult situation where you had to decide between. Two great bands and two bands that you did good things yeah. with, you know? Yeah, I intended to be in both, but I mean, it was, you know, you got to make right. a choice. Wow, that's that's terrible. You know, um, we, we, uh, so we, we, we keep on talking about your career and...